Good morning, everybody. Pray be to the Lord. Now and forever. Okay, guys, mm -hmm. we're going to start our this week our review for reading. Uh, as I told you, the the evaluations will start on Monday, but I already sent yesterday, almost in the afternoon and night, uh, a file that said uh, Thursday and Friday, you will start with uh, Espanol and Sociales, right? So um, for the next classes in the, with the next, um, evaluations we will send also a new uh, schedule right that is going to be uh, for the rest of the classes okay for the ladies who want the spelling b i will send um, a new list because we're going to make our spelling b about all this all the institution okay so I will send it in um, maybe during all the morning, I will send the, the, the document to your, to your parents. So you will start to study, right? You will start to study for, for those words. Okay, guys. So just to start with the, um, um, <clears throat> with, um, review for this uh, week we are going to review <clears throat> our the genres that we saw um, during this partial all the genres that we saw uh, during this partial people and that because it will help to you to see or to remember which ones do you see it? Just give me a minute. Well, these two are one, this one two, Just give me a minute because I am, I already opened the file. So um, as I told you, uh, this week we don't have homework because you will focus on studying to remember all the reviews I will give you right in 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 this moment. So in this in this um, uh, week, actually the only thing you have to do is study for your evaluations just to remember also just to remember um just to remember tomorrow we will have the beginning of the patriotic month right so tomorrow you have to dress your uniforme de gala right I already say it on the meeting that I have on Friday, right? Uniforme de gala, por favor, el día de mañana. ¿Verdad? <clears throat> y todos con cámara encendida porque voy a pasar lista. También. Okay. So, uh, we're going to start with the review and we're going to see, first of all, to remember the story Oops, it's gone my bell. We're going to remember just the story of love, but not the story about it, right? We're going, I don't know what happened. It's not my internet, it's the computer. Well, it's not the computer or so it's the program. So we're going to remember just the genre of this story and the story structure. 
Okay. Everybody can see the screen, right? The gender of the story in this case about the story of love is science fiction, right? Science fiction is it is written based on scientific ideas and often set right in the future. Most of the cases in the in the in the um, in the stories that are in science fiction or that have the gender of science fiction. If we have the, if we remember the story of love, I really don't find the page, right? If we remember the story of love, Is, is in the other book. Okay. It's about it's about it's about the scientific ideas often in the in the future. I am I'm not agree because in some cases science fiction is not only in the future, it could be in the present also. But most people say that all the things that happen with the science fiction will will be in the future. Also, we have movies, not only books. That, that, that having science fiction too. For, for example, we have Back to the Future, we have many, 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 many movies that said this science fiction, right? But do you, th what do you think? Uh, my question is for you, do you really think uh, these stories that write it on science fiction are real true stories or not true stories? They are not real. No. No. Actually, they are not real stories. Why? Because um, most of them are fictitious, actually. Of course, it's science fiction. It's um, uh, those events or even the trauma of that story doesn't exist also. For the reason is... Uh, is fiction actually so in the story the structure or story structure in a science fiction it's how the author organizes important parts of the story called story elements story elements include in this case character setting and plot settings include where and when a story take place. The plot in the story events, including a conflict or problem and its resolution. The resolution, right? The resolution in this story, it's how the conflict or problem in a story is solved. Okay? This is one genre. We're going to see another genre that is in another story, actually. This story. We were there too. This story. Do you remember this story? We already we read this story about we were there too. Right. And in this one, the story is a biography. Now, what is a biography? Just to remember, it is an account of a person life told by someone else 
It's like I told you that, for example, I know someone of you and I start to talk about you, but I'm, I'm going to start to talk about you in exactly way. I will not invent actually, right? For example, I can talk, Roland was a boy who really liked to drink coffee. Her family have fields of coffee, right? And those are exactly things. I will not say that Rola doesn't like to drink coffee because he, and he drink coffee because he was mandatory to do it. No, that is fictitious. That is a lie. That is, that not exist actually. Right. <clears throat> so that is the gender in this case is biography. Clue. I will give you a clue. All the genders that I, 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 I am I'm exposing right now, it will help you to study for the test. So if you don't copy, don't worry. You have the videos, you have to see it on 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 on, on YouTube, right? You will see it on YouTube. You can study watching the video on YouTube, right? If you don't copy right now, you can copy later, right? It's up to you how you will study people. It's up to you. So this is a biography. Now, in this story, we see something important. We see, look, the, the, the thing that is compare and contrast. Comparing contrast is to find ways that two or more things are similar and different. Signal, signal words such as both signify comparisons, while phrases like on other hand signal contrast. As you read, or as you read, look for text evidence that help you think about how the situation motives and traits the two subjects are alike or different. Do you remember what is the story about in this case? It's about two persons, right? It's about two persons, people. If you remember the story, it's about two persons. I remember one person of this story was white. The other person of this story was black but they have something in common many many things in common they have and also they have many things that contrast or make different about this right just to remember just saying that just to remember so this is a biography this story is a biography it is an account of, of a person's life told by someone else. Maybe watching in a video, maybe watching in a movie, or, or read it in a book. We have many, many books that are biographies. Many and many books that are biographies, right? many many books that are biographies so we are going to um see also also those biographies are written by the same person it's like if i write a biography about myself and maybe i will title mr godoy the year that he separate many skills, 2020. Also, a biography not only can be about all your life, can be in a specific period of your life. Maybe your childhood, maybe your teenagers, your young, or maybe when we're when you are 
an adult. Okay. Some people divided. For example, I don't I really don't remember this author. I really I, I read the, the biography of this author in three books. He wrote his biography in three books. I really don't remember the name of the author. The first book was talking about his childhood. The second, the second biography was talking about his uh, about his youth. And the last one was written about his adult moment when he started to write, when he started to be a professionalist in the writing and all of that, right? I really saw very emotional or very uh, interest. I was uh, really, really interested in the moment that I read the book about uh, when he was a teenager. It was more interesting with, he was a really boring childhood. And also as an adult, a little bit interest, but boring also. So let's see the third genre or genre. Let's see the third genre. We already saw this story, the daily dog, right? We are ready. Yes, he's reading a newspaper. We already saw this story about the, the, the daily dog, right? And the genre is an autobiography. This is the way that I told you. We have a biography that is written by someone else about you. And this is the autobiography. This autobiography is written about you of yourself, right? This is the two ways. It's a person's account of his or her own life. First person, it's written also in first person. I, me, myself, mine. Always written by my by, by first person. The other personal thoughts and feelings. He never going to talk about another person, only about him. Information and, the, and also the, the autobiography is the information about the author life. Is that I told you about this author that I really don't remember this, the, the name, who wrote about he, about himself in three books. One in a childhood, one is an, in his youth, and one in the other one in the um, adult way. Right? In this story, we remember, we have facts and, op and opinion. Do you remember that the game that said, uh, what is a fact, what is an opinion, and many of you make the right question, answer, sorry. This is a fact and this is an opinion. Remember, a fact Remember, the fact are statements that can be proven true or false. Yep. Opinions. <laughs> Opinions are express someone thoughts feelings or beliefs also opinions might begin with i think i believe right it's all of that it's 
son of that, right? So, this is the third gender. Let's see the number four. Let's see the number four, the gender number four. We already saw the dog newspaper where we're to laugh. Let's talk about this one, the black stallion. The black stallion. We. Oui. The genre of the Black Stallion is adventure story. It includes it includes exciting action that take place in unusual settings. Now, when I'm talking about unusual settings, I'm talking about the way or the place that you never that you never imagine I will make a story. Or it's a place that you will never imagine uh, a story is going to be about. That is what I'm talking about, about the unusual way, the unusual place, right? That is the way, that is the meaning. For example, if you remember the Black Stallion, where the story it's begun. Where the story began of the Black Stallion? In. No, began, began. Don't they comment up? Where the story began? <laughs> Where the story began of the Black Stallion? No, 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 don't watch the book. Nah. <laughs> Where the story began of the Black Stallion, people, you don't remember. I will no. remember. Ah? Huh? In a sunk ship. In a ship. Sunk. It started in a shipwreck, right? Start in a shipwreck. Then the evolution of the story continue where in a desert island in a desert mm. island to be specified or to be specific in which part of the desert island the beach in the beach very good in the beach so unusual places who imagine someone is going to to write about a horse a boy who survived to a shipwreck and was in the pitch. Nobody. Nobody. Most most of the places that the people write, forest, jungles, fictitious towns, house, the yard of the house maybe fictitious cities in a specific building of that fictitious city or even a fictitious building in a city that really exists those are most common those are the most common places that people write but beach no one maybe the sea but to be specific not in a shipwreck maybe in a ship in a boat right like Pirates of the Caribbean. It's in the sea, in the, in the ship, many islands that, that doesn't exist, like Isla Tortuga, right? Maybe. 
so those are places that really maybe doesn't exist. Also, the black pearl doesn't exist. If you think that the things that are the, the, the names that ships that appear that appear in parts of the Caribbean exist, no, doesn't exist. The legends that we saw in that movie exist, yes. Those legends, those stories, those myths really exist because our sea myth, right? So mitos del mar. So about the Kraken, about um, the Poseidon Trident, about um, uh, this uh, ship that is called uh, the Dutchland, right? So those ships or, or those myths or legends exist. So, whoa, let's see. I have another one. I have another one. About this one, James Fortin. The story of James Fortin. What it's going to be about the story or what genre this story was about. Also, this story was a biography, right? Also, this story is a biography. Now, do you remember what were, what was the difference of, or what were the differences between a biography and an autobiography? I don't listen to nothing. <laughs> What was the what was the difference between a biography and an autobiography? Just remember, an autobiography. Uh -huh. uh -huh. An autobiography is when we write ourselves, and a biography when we write. Exactly, an autobiography okay. is when you write about yourself. Oh, I'm going to write about myself. Oh, she's going to she's going to write about herself, right? That. And um, biography is when someone else is going to talk about you or for another person, right? I don't know if you. Listen, or if you draw, or if you read about uh, any book that said, uh, for example, um, this biography is unauthorized. Una, una biografía no autorizada. That means that biography maybe have um, some mistakes, some facts that are not true also, right? Some facts that are not true also. For that reason, maybe have some mistakes. For that reason is a not authorized, a not authorized, Biography. For example, if you use Twitter, if someone of you use Twitter, some some of the people, famous people, that have a blue plaquita, right, a check. That means that user is the original, is the real. So it's authorized to, to, to write it. Official for saying this way. It's the same meaning as in a biography. We have 
unauthorized, not authorized biographies, and we have authorized biographies, right? It's the same. This one is the same. So, in this way, we have the sequence of events. The sequence of events, it is the order of events as they occur in a story. To find a sequence of events, you should think about what happens in the beginning, middle, and end of the story. Also, oh, let's see this. All the stories have a sequence of events. All the stories have a sequence of events. All the stories have a beginning, all the stories have a middle, and all the stories have an end. The only difference is these stories, for example, because it's a biography, it starts when the people, when in this case, James Fortin was a child, continue in the middle when he was a teenager, and finish with the end when he was an adult and died. Right? And the last one, let's see the last one. That it's about the last story about Rachel's Rachel's journal. About Rachel's journal. The genre of this story about um, Rachel's journal was histor historical fiction. It is a story whose characters and events are set in a real period of a history. It's like I told you, this story is what is the that one who this lady was with two birds, cops, right? Now, the moment or or the year was correct, but that events that happened to this lady are fictitious. So it's a historical fiction. Now, in this story, we saw what is cause and effect. A cause is an event that makes something else happen. An effect is something that happens because of an early event. Some causes lead to more than one effect. Some effects have more than one cause, right? It's like I told you in this story, someone, this lady, Rachel, uh, start with doing something that is the cause and then, she, and then she saw what is the effect of what happened what about, about the thing she made, right? This is a cause and effect, people. So, do you have any question? No? Okay, I will see you at 8.20 for math. Bye-bye. Take care.